Last time I was here, after I did my monologue, I heard Toulis call out, you're a lunatic. <laughs> Toulis, of all people. <laughs> now, much as I pride myself on being a walking, talking lunatic, free to roam the streets outside of a mental institute, I feel like I should address the impression. So today, let me talk to you about hamburger navigation. What is hamburger navigation, you ask? First of all, let me explain why I know so much about hamburger navigation. When I'm not up here ranting like a lunatic, I do a thing called user experience. A user experience is what happens when you engage with any kind of system or interface or application. It doesn't just happen on your phone or a desktop. You could be calling an 800 number for support, go to an ATM. All of these things are user experience. Without user experience, all hell breaks loose. I mean, you find yourself lost on websites, filling out forms that keep asking for your home address, or read articles interrupted by an animated pop-up ad to sell something you don't want, or you might see ads on Facebook surreptitiously sponsored by a hostile nation that inadvertently promotes a megalomaniac for president. Something nutty like that, you know. So, so let's be glad there's user experience out there to keep everything humming along just perfectly. One of the things that concerns user experience uh, people, like me, is navigation. How do we make sure people can get around, figure out how to accomplish a task, get something done? You're all familiar with these conventions. You know when you go to a website, there's going to be links, like products, services, about us, who we are, what we do, what we don't do, what you do, we know what you did last summer, you know, that sort of thing. <laughs> now, on a mobile device, you have a smaller screen. If you start listing all those words on the screen, you run out of room. If it's all navigation, you won't have room for that stock photo of the super clean, high-ceilinged office with the guy that looks like George Clooney's little brother talking to two corporate stiffs that look like your Aunt Flossie and your cousin Mar. So what do you do? What could possibly conjure the, this idea of a list of links, that menu, that isn't really all of those words? Like, what if instead of spelling out all the words, we just draw a short line where that word is, and then a, another line just below that, and then another line below that? Yeah, just three short lines. And then when you tap on that approximation of the menu, represented by three short horizontal lines, there's your menu with products, services, who we are, what we do, what you did, who did what to whom, and why. And it's all just hidden, and then it just pops out. Oh my god, look at that. There it is. And the user experience was good. And it was displayed. And many users understood. They know what the three lines mean. Hamburger. But what do we call the approximation of the menu represented by three short horizontal lines? That's an awful lot of words to say every time I want to see the approximation of the menu represented by three short horizontal lines. And then some schmuck, some UX genius who was probably hungry at the time and just wanted to get lunch was like, uh, I don't know, like, um, it looks like a hamburger. A hamburger? Well, I don't know. You know, hamburger. You know, it's like the top is the bun, and then the, the middle is the patty, and then the bottom is the bun too. A hamburger? It's three fucking lines. How the hell do you get a hamburger out of that? Well, dude, I don't know. You want to keep referring to it as the approximation of the menu represented by three short horizontal lines? Fine, whatever. Go ahead. I think the word hamburger is a lot shorter. Okay. <laughs> So now, you want to call me a lunatic? Fine, okay, maybe it's because I spent so much time in meetings with people debating for hours, weeks, through the gestation period of most mammals about the hamburger. Should the hamburger animate? When you click on it, what happens to the hamburger when it's open? Should it turn into an X so people then can close it and then it opens again and the hamburger goes back and the navigation, should it change color? Should it, should, is it too big? Maybe the hamburger is too small. I don't know. Why do we call it a hamburger? Anyway, anyway, I might be crazy, okay, but at least I could explain to you in four minutes what hamburger navigation is. Yeah.